So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add a couple of uh, photos here. Um, no big deal. As you can see, I have one position back further than the other. Um, that's all they are. I've just went up here and selected my 3D Transforms tool and just um, placed one behind the other and sk off skewed them a little bit. So now what I want to do is I want to go up here and I'm going to add a new camera. As you can see I'm using 3.65 gigs of RAM 2 if this gives you any indication of how RAM intensive motion is because you don't have to render. Uh, but anyways uh, you do have to render but not in, not in a lot of cases hardly ever. I'm going to select my new camera and it's going to say cameras only affect 3D groups. Do you want to switch your 2D groups to 3D groups? And of course I do. Now what this does is this will throw a camera in right here. You see we got a camera in our group. And also this little emblem here means it's a 3D group. If I click this button it goes to a 2D group and the camera is basically useless. So uh, I'm going to keep any layer or group that has this emblem here is in 3D. Like, people ask me, how do I get my background to stay the same all the way through my video and have my camera move around? When I do that, my background moves around with it. Well, check this, turn this into a 2D element and your background will stay flat. And that is, well, that will be covered in a new, another tutorial, so stay tuned for that. I don't want to get into too much here. I'm getting carried away. Anyways, this is the emblem for 2D and there's 3D. So now we have these two little pictures up here is my 3D transform tools. This is what controls the camera. This doesn't really affect my animation any. It just controls my camera viewpoint. And when you're working with the camera, you want to go up here to view. Right here. And you want to make sure all of your 3D overlays are checked. And like I said, these 3D transform tools, the middle one rotates, the left one moves, and the right one is forward and back. And that's the basic controls. Also, the same controls can be got from the HUD, H-U-D, up here in the, time, in the command bar. I'm going to click it, and the HUD will come up. If I click my camera in the Layers tab, it will give me the controls to my camera. As you can see, I have the move backwards and forwards, the move around, and the move in and out, and rotate and scale. Uh, we will cover all these other tools in a future camera tutorial because there's a lot to know. But anyways, as you can see, I can go up here and click and drag and rotate around. You can tell, you can now tell we're in 3D. And uh, also, you can use these tools over here in the HUD to do the same thing. And if you ever get lost. Just double click on your emblems and it will reframe the camera again. So now, what if we want to have the camera zoom in on our back picture then zoom back out onto our front picture? No problem. We have our camera added to our project. We're going to select our camera, move our playhead to the beginning. Now move my hood out of the way. I don't want to be bothered by it when I'm animating my camera. Now what I want to do is I want to push my record button. And this will tell motion, pay attention, we're getting ready to do something, so watch. I'm going to s turn down my group, which contains both of my pictures, and I'm, gonna and I'm going to select my back picture. Now I'm going to move my playhead forward in the timeline to about the location that I want the animation of the camera to come to a stop. So I'm going to have it zoom in on the back picture, and I'm going to move my playhead in the timeline to about the point I want the zoom in to end. So I'm going to say about right here, like so right there. Now that I've moved my playhead, I'm going to animate my camera. And the way to do this is, make sure your camera is selected, pull up your HUD, and you have your basic camera controls. And now that you have your record button pressed and your playhead set to where you want the animation to end, you can go in and you can use your controls to zoom the camera where you want. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to do something much simpler, much easier for you all that's first learning this. So move the HUD out of the way and select the picture in the back. 
move the playhead to where you want the animation to end, and hit the F key. What the F key does, F as in Fred, it will frame whatever item you have selected. So let me hit the F key and watch. Zoop, it frames that picture. So now that we have our picture zoomed in and framed, we have our playhead. I'm going to move my playhead forward in the timeline a little bit more because I want to animate, pull back the camera to the next picture. And I want this pullback to end about right here. So now what I'm going to do, that now that i got my playhead set up further, I'm going to select my first picture over here in the timeline. The one I've got selected now is the one we just framed. I'm going to select this one and hit the F key again and watch what happens. It frames that picture. So remember the F key is a very, very important key. It frames whatever object you have selected. Um, now you can go to your active camera view and look at it from the top just to see what everything looks like. As you can see, there's, there's a picture and here's a picture. Control A goes back to your active camera view. Now we can turn off our animation. And when we play it back, let's see what happens. We zoom there. And we come straight back to there. And it's that simple. It just hitting the F key a couple times. Um, let's see what else we can do here. What if... Um, what if you wanted to zoom in on that one, and instead of zooming directly back out, you wanted to stay focused on this picture for a minute, and then zoom back out? Well, I'll show you how to do that. Move your playhead to the beginning. Turn on your record. Move your playhead up to the point you want the animation zoom to end. How long you want the animation to take. I want to move my playhead to about right here. I'm going to select my picture. Hit the F key like before to frame it. Zoop, it'll bring me in. Now, what I want to do is, I'm going to go into my inspector. Everything is red, saying that we're in record mode. I want to jog one of my controls. It don't matter which one. So I'm just going to click it once. And then I'm going to click it right back to the same position it was in. That set a keyframe. Without moving any of my parameters. That set a keyframe. So now what you want to do is. Move your playhead forward. About the length of time you want to stay focused on that picture. I'll move it up to about right here. Then I'm going to go back over to my controls. And my inspector again. And do the exact same thing. I'm going to jog it. And then move it back. Now that sets another keyframe. Now the keyframes that we t just set. Are of the same parameters. If you noticed. We just jogged it the first time, then moved it forward and jogged it the second time, and the parameters have stayed the same, which will in turn cause the camera to stay right there for that length of time. So now that we've got that set, let's move the playhead forward a little bit further, select our other picture, hit the F key to frame it, and our animation should be done. Let's uh, stop recording by pressing the record button and play it back. It zooms in, and it comes back out. Did you see the hold a little bit? And if it don't hold quite enough for you, you can always open up your timing pane, open up your keyframe editor, and there's this little box here that will show you your keyframe. So select your camera, and now it's telling us it's showing our animated keyframes, which is right here. Now you see when I move this playhead, you can see the curve here matches the animation of our picture. So as you can see when it comes in right there it starts zooming back out. So I want to add another keyframe. So what I want to do is put my playhead about right here I guess. About where the whole screen is taken up. Just a few frames ahead of where it was. I'm going to go over to this little keyframe menu I'm going to hold the option key and I want to click and I want to set a keyframe for all three of them. Now if you notice this put a keyframe right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my keyframe and I'm going to drag it out like this. Yeah. Now that should help it stay steady just a little bit longer. 
as you can see, it stays, and it zooms back out. Now, it's not perfect. I haven't really, what you call, adjusted it too well. I'm just trying to do this really fast. You can right-click on a keyframe, and it will bring up an interpolation menu, which will let you choose constant, linear, continuous. And if you choose constant, it will cause the line between the keyframe to straighten out. So I'm going to select this one again, interpolation, constant, and you can see that straightened out. Now, when I play back the animation, you can see the frame holds itself before it flies back out. So let me play it from the beginning. Let's close my timing. Close my project. Let's have this fit to window. And when I play it back, it zooms in, holds, zooms back out. 